All right, who's ready for another round of hog guns? Now you might ask, Jeff, what in the hell is a hog gun? Well, of course, any gun that you would use for deer is capable of taking a hog with, with ease. As a matter of fact, if you were gonna hunt long range or at traditional you know, deer type ranges where you're just shooting one hog, I'd recommend a great accurate bolt action in an adequate caliber like 243 or above. But where I'm from and, and what's happening in many parts of the country are people are baiting hogs in. There'll be a big group of them and then you sneak up to them or you stay pretty close in the blind. The point is you're trying to shoot as many of them as possible. Now, a lot of times that's easier said than done because what happens if you shoot one shot, regardless of if your gun's suppressed or not, the hogs take off. But with the bolt action, a lot of times you can only get off one shot. With a semi-automatic or some type of repeater, a lot of times you can get off two, three, four shots. And sometimes you, that might result in multiple hogs. It's difficult to do, but if you don't have some type of decent repeater, you don't even have a chance. So my criteria of the perfect hog gun is as follows. Number one, it's gotta be short, compact, and handy. A lot of times I ride around a truck, I'm not even really hunting hogs, but I always have to expect to see one where I'm from, and so it's gotta be handy. I've gotta be able to move, get it out of the truck. A lot of times I hunt tree stands, a lot of times I hunt ground blinds. I just like a handy gun. Also, when I'm tracking or following up hogs, a lot of times they go and they hang out in the thickest stuff. I just like a short, handy, compact gun. Number two, it needs to be some type of repeater. I really love semi-automatics. They're even faster than pumps or lever actions, but any type of repeating gun to me is required of a bona fide hog gun. Three, it's gotta be of an adequate caliber. This eliminates 223s and most 300 blackouts, although the blackout is right there on the cusp. One of my favorite all-time rifles by the man, Mr. John M. Browning himself. Browning has been making this for years and years and years and decades. The Browning bar is just legendary. And for decades, Browning converted this system, a gas action semi-automatic rifle system into the sporting world in its bar rifles. Well, this one is a new version of the bar rifle. This is called the Bar MK3 DBM for detachable magazine. I'm going hogging, I'm going hogging today. I'm going hogging. And this is why this rifle stands out. A lot of the bars only hold a, uh, several rounds. A lot of them are flush fitting. This one holds 10 rounds of 308. That's the only round it's chambered in, and I'm glad because I love a 308. It'll do anything anywhere in North America. As a matter of fact, 308 with modern powders and loads really pushing right in there with the 30-06. There's virtually no difference on some of the loads except it's a short action, a beltless action. It is still one of the best rounds ever made. It works perfectly on hogs or deer or whatever else. This rifle is so cool for hogs for several reasons. One, it is light. I've got this full three to 10 loophole on here. And, and you know, so it adds a pound by itself, but this gun is just light. It is so handy, so pointable. It's accurate and it holds 10 rounds of the Mighty 308. It just feels good too. The stock is kind of soft. Browning's really done a, a good job on their stock material. That's a little bit sticky. The gun's quiet, easy to handle and it's easy to shoot fast. This Browning, see the specs here? It's one of my favorites. It's only downside is quite a bit of engineering. It's a nice upper end gun and it is fairly expensive as you can see. So these people send me these guns, but on guns, I send them back. I don't wanna be beholden, but this is one that I'm probably gonna be calling Browning and ask if I can buy because I just need this one for my collection. I love it. Uh, it shot groups just over an inch, which is crazy for a gas action, short barreled semi-auto. Um, just a wonderful gun in every way. I love this gun.